One of the best things about our state are our local waterways. I'm meteorologist Maddie Baggett for Fox 13 News Utah. I came down to Lower Provo River today to spend some time with some DWR biologists to find out how they are using electrofishing to observe the health and sustainability of the river. We're using electricity. Okay, here we go, guys. We're on. Very small amount. That allows us to stun the fish long enough for us to net them, put them in some live wells or some other buckets of water until we're ready to weigh and measure the fish. All right, netters, come right up by these guys. Mike Slate, the aquatics manager for the DWR, along with a couple of volunteers and biologists, will spend the rest of the week conducting several rounds. It begins with three large electrically charged nets that are attached to a power source on a raft. We good? We good? There's a lot of fish here still. As the fish start to float, they are netted, then transferred to the buckets. Once collected, crew members will record size, weight, and species, all while looking for changes since the last survey. Native species in the Provo River include mountain whitefish, cutthroat trout, and sculpin. Seeing multiple species helps biologists gauge overall health of the system. The river's metrics have consistently ranked it among the West's top blue ribbon fisheries, a designation based on population, size, and public access. To make it a blue ribbon fishery, a lot of states, surrounding states, including ourselves, we like to see about 600 pounds of fish per mile. So we're about six times that on the Provo River, at least according to our data a couple of years ago. So I think we're doing really well. In previous surveys, biologists have counted 4,000 to 5,000 fish per mile. Early impressions from this year's work suggest those numbers could be even higher. The Provo River gets sampled more often than other streams or lakes in the state because of its significance. It's important to anglers. It's so close to so many people and it gets fished very, very heavily. These types of surveys are done every three to five years to ensure the river's blue ribbon status and to keep anglers and fish safe and healthy. At Lower Provo River, Maddie Baggett, Fox 13 News, Utah.